In this video, we're going to find a power series representation for the function f of x equals 1 over x plus 2. Now, the whole basis of this power series representation when you have a rational function is to play off of the geometric series formula. That is the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of r to the n is the same thing as 1 over 1 minus r, so long as the absolute value of r is less than 1. We have a small ratio. So you want to play off of this observation right here. So what we need to do is somehow or another, using algebraic techniques, we need to craft it so that we have a 1 in the denominator and we need a negative sign right here. And so how can we accomplish that? Well, this one way of doing that is to, in the following way, right? Is you have this 1 over 2 plus x. I can get a 1 in there as from the fact that 2 is just 1 plus 1. So we get 1 over 1 plus 1 minus x. And then because we have a plus sign here and we want a negative sign, that actually is going to tell us that our ratio r is going to be negative 1 plus x. Basically, you have to use a double negative, uh, double negative going on there. So with that in mind, then the geometric series would then be the sum from n equals 0 to infinity, uh, and we would get negative 1 plus x raised to the nth power. Uh, this is an alternating geometric series, n equals 0 to infinity. We're going to get negative 1 to the n times x plus 1 to the nth right here. And so we see that it, it, if we were to write this in expanded form, we're going to get 1 minus x plus 1. Then we're going to get plus x plus 1 squared, then minus x plus 1 cubed, and then this pattern will continue on forever. We end up with a power series representation, which is centered. It's centered at the value x equals negative 1. And if we want to investigate the interval of convergence, right, we have to take the absolute value of negative x plus 1. Well, that's just the absolute value of x plus 1. And that needs to be less than 1. Uh, this tells us that our radius of convergence is going to equal 1 right there. And then if, to find the interval of convergence, we get x plus 1 needs to be less than 1, but greater than negative 1. That is to say x is less than 0, but greater than negative 2. So our interval of convergence is right here. The radius of convergence is 1. And we have a power series representation centered at negative 1. Now, what, what I want to mention here is everything we've done is absolutely correct. This is correct. But it turns out there, there might be a better way of doing this, which might seem a little less intuitive when the first time you see it. But when we compare the two, it'll make more, more sense. And this is actually how it's recommended in the textbook. And this is my recommendation as well. Um, if you have 1 over 2 plus x here, remember, we want to have a 1 right here. And so we could just take 2 minus 1 and get 1. Or we could factor it. Factoring it's going to be a lot more fruitful for us. If you factor out the 2, you get 1 over 1 plus x over 2. And so like we observed above, we're going to take our common constant ratio r to be negative x over 2. Because again, we need a negative sign here, so we're using a double negative. And so therefore, our series then becomes 1 half the sum as n equals 0 to infinity. And we end up with negative x over 2 to the n which we can rewrite that as, as a sum from n equals 0 to infinity. And we get negative 1 to the n. It'll be an alternating series, x to the n over 2 to the n plus 1. So I'm taking the two n's, the, 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 sorry, the n many 2's we have in the denominator, and then you throw in one more from the factor of 1 half. So in expanded form, this would look a little bit different. Uh, you're going to get 1 half as your first term. Uh, then your next term, you're going to get minus x over 4, then you're going to get plus x squared over 8, then you're going to get minus x cubed over 16, and then this pattern will continu continue uh, ad infinitum. Right? It, it'll just continue on and on and on and on forever. So we do get a different power series representation than we did before. Some things to notice here is that with this power series representation, we're now centered, we're centered at the origin at x equals 0. Uh, sorry, a equals zero. We usually call the center a there, a equals zero. So there's one advantage right there that when it comes to working with it, we kind of prefer the simplicity of being centered at zero. But what also happens when we investigate the, the constant ratio there to find the radius of convergence? Uh, so we're going to take negative x over two. This needs to be less than one. Well, taking the absolute value, uh, this will look like one half times the absolute value of x 
is less than one. So therefore the absolute value of X needs to be less than two. This is our radius of convergence. So we can already see sort of a difference here. The radius of convergence in this, with this approach where we center it at zero is gonna be twice the radius of convergence than when we center it at negative one. So a bigger radius of convergence is actually a good thing. So it means our, our power series representation will be equal to the one over two plus X more for more values of X. And then we see that the interval of convergence will be X is less than two, but greater than negative two, which compared that we said what we saw before, the previous interval of convergence was from negative two to zero. This one is now from negative two to zero, negative two to two, excuse me. So this interval of convergence in, in includes the entire interval of convergence from before, but it also has twice as much. And so this right here will be our ideal power series representation because this will give us the maximal interval of convergence. And this is accomplished being, this is accomplished by factoring whatever coefficient we see in front of this constant term here. We need a one right there. So whatever it is, factor out the coefficient and this will give us a nice big interval of convergence.